Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how to configure in Microsoft Intent Portal conditional access policy. So we would be demonstrating um, if a user's uh, device is not enrolled, they are not allowed to access emails. That's how we're going to configure because uh, enrolled devices will have the other security policies also applied device specific policies that actually makes more secure of uh, the device and uh, like uh, maybe a copy cut copy paste uh, options might be disabled or such options can be you know, enabled so we are not uh, ready to allow uh, any of the users uh, not to access emails uh, from non enrolled devices that's the demo ultimate goal uh, to begin with that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a policy from the for the conditional access so let's jump into the demo uh, go to the conditional access page create a new policy and give a meaningful name and then uh, once you have given the meaningful name you can go back to the users and groups this is where actually the policy specific settings will apply like you want to apply for all the users or a specific a group of uh, for example if you are trying to do it for the first time I would recommend definitely you must have to create as your AD group and then apply for that specific users group uh, but uh, some of the business critical applications that might uh, go for all the users but definitely that at first point you need to test it so in my case I'm gonna uh, actually apply for Chris and David uh, just for those specific users uh, so in this case I'm gonna select as the select users and groups and then um, I've selected as a select users group and this is where I'm gonna select that a uh, Chris and David a group which I have actually created um, where you have uh, where I have actually Chris as well as the TV two of the users has been part of this Azure AD specific group let's select that and uh, select OK now we have done the users and the groups part now it's time to go back to other settings more into the what kind of app you want to restrict so it could be cloud apps or actions which you're going to perform so I'm going to select a specific application or you can select all the cloud apps also but in our case we are selecting only the required uh, app which is in this case uh, office 365 exchange uh, application remember that applying office exchange 3 uh, would uh, leads to some other applications may not work for example outlook uh, not just the Outlook or uh, OneDrive and some of the Teams actions cannot be evolved. So let me search here uh, where is that Office uh, 365 Exchange Online. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I think it's down. Uh, it just went down. Let me scroll down. Yep, and then Exchange Online. Uh, that's the one. So I would be you now selecting the Office 365 and just select that. And now this specific app is part of our uh, cloud app or actions which are going to perform on this specific app. And if I just you know go through that a specific link which is talking about in this case, for example, um, this article clearly explains if you just apply for office 365 exchange online is going to also block teams and uh, sharepoint and some of the contact information all that part so you can you know go through this uh, web link this is going to talk you about the integrations or the inside of the some of the features that might not work properly if you configure so that means might not work when I say that it might also require the conditional access so it might require a multi-factor authentication or maybe the devices must to be enrolled the actions which are which we are gonna um, uh, set it for example uh, uh, we only grant uh, specific application specific settings are fulfilled so that's we're gonna you know talk in a minute or so but for now uh, you can go through this article if really you're interested uh, what are the other settings also gonna affect and uh, that's how it's gonna I uh, know uh, configured and uh, once we have done the specific uh, settings page we can close that and move to um, okay okay and just go back to the next uh, settings which is a cloud app uh, to the conditional and this is where uh, you are going to define whether these specific settings are uh, applied as a risky uh, or uh, sign in risk key so if the users are signed as the high risk then this specific settings gonna apply so in other case I'm not uh, configuring any of the uh, risky specific settings but uh, yes uh, we can actually 
uh, configure even the sign-in risk specific settings but I'm gonna talk about more into the device platform so I want this specific uh, conditions should be made for only a uh, few of the device types for example Android or iOS or Windows Phone or Windows or Mac specific devices so in my case what I'm gonna select is I'm gonna select here would like to select here as the uh, Android as well as iOS specific so let's uh, just enable that and then select as Android and iOS that would actually configure um, the required specific settings uh, as a condition uh, for these specific platforms only uh, targeted the specific settings and the next one would be the locations which we have not yet created in case if you have created the location or we can actually uh, play with the location sites like as a trusted site or a specific location as I said you know in the beginning of the video or the introduction of the section I did talk about if a users must be part of European Union but they shouldn't be you know working from uh, other regions so you can apply a by creating a specific location within the conditional access navigation pan you also have uh, option to create the locations and the uh, those subnets or those network locations only can be accessed the specific settings that's how you can configure let's jump into the client apps uh, preview uh, which is uh, which is in this case uh, what kind of you know a browser or what kind of you know other applications are gonna uh, enabled in this case uh, let's take uh, more into the uh, what happens for example if uh, if you select as a browser in this case or uh, if a user try to browse or try to access exchange online from a browser uh, then it's going to you know apply the specific setting similarly if it is coming from a mobile apps or some kind of uh, desktop client uh, what we're going to do is we are going to ask them to hey you must have to uh, enroll the device that's what the uh, access control uh, we're going to configure but uh, for now these are the platforms uh, which allows uh, to access exchange online that's how uh, it's, it's 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 configured in other way so in this case exchange active uh, client should be you not know, taken out uh, because that's not uh, no more you know um, configurable uh, or not required in other way so just uh, select the browser or mobile app and uh, these settings uh, once we have actually uh, these are the settings in fact you know which are, are working on the device platforms uh, like uh, as I shown there we have taken for iOS and uh, Android so if somebody is coming and from the browser of Android then this specific settings gonna apply or iOS now let's um, go for the device state so if the device is uh, let's you know uh, configure as a yes then you know we need to know uh, configure here the device must be a complaint or any kind of in you know, state and then we can enable the specific policy uh, but you know let's have a review and you know what we have done so far is uh, we apply for Chris and David and then one application we have selected not for all the applications and the conditions we said that there is no uh, sign in risk but uh, we enable for Android and iOS specific applications and uh, we also said that any of these uh, conditions made like a browser or mobile devices this then that specific uh, devices uh, is the uh, input is coming out then uh, any kind of you know a state of the device it can be a complaint or non compliant we wanted to uh, set now the control so that's the option so the now if I go to the grant permissions so now I have I want to you know allow them but uh, but some kind of the conditions I want to you know uh, configure for example the device must be uh, a complaint and if the device has to be part of your Azure AD uh, as well as the uh, hybrid join then you can you know take that check boxes uh, and the also you have option to require upload client apps so list of applications only would be you know, supported these uh, are the additional configurations you can you know take out so I'm just taking here a required app uh, protection policy gonna apply that means um, once I have uh, configured uh, it's going to you know ask me uh, app protection policies also and uh, these are the settings I'm going to apply on the required of the selected uh, devices so I'm just enabling this policy now click on create this has been enabled now this policy now if I go back uh, to the uh, client side the complete review would be a different so what I'm going to do is I'm going to perform uh, how this works so to demonstrate I have connected my uh, phone one of the test PC or uh, test phone or test Android device and this device is not enrolled uh, 
and uh, I'm going to uh, access from the Chrome this exchange online like visiting portal.office.com don't think that you know portal.office.com itself blocked it won't be blocked because portal.office.com inside you have a lot of other applications out of that uh, outlook is one and uh, inside that the mails is the uh, key for us so the exchange online whatever we are talking about it's gonna ask us to you know enroll uh, the specific device once we um, start enrolling uh, to enroll definitely we need to install company portal application and then it's uh, similar as the enroll devices so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna perform by opening this device uh, to show you uh, I'm not gonna you know enroll the device but I'll show you you know how this looks like for the client machines uh, as the client experience or end users experience so uh, let's begin with that um, uh, you can check out here uh, there's nothing has been there I'm just entering the password because of that it it, it, uh, it was in a blank screen earlier uh, I have used a different tool called um, here uh, if I correctly remember the tool name would be the uh, app power mirror which is mirroring my uh, mobile device screen to a uh, computer screen so that I'm, I can you know record you know what's happening and that would uh, makes easy for you to you know um, get and feel the client experience also I'm just opening my Chrome to point to the portal dot azure.com or sorry office.com in this case and uh, once I have there, I need to enter my username. I'm just entering the username as Chris at Omnia.com. Post to this when I click on next. So since this is the Mirrorcast is a free tool which I'm using, um, it will not allow me to you know show you the password when I'm trying to enter or some of the features doesn't show you. So uh, what I have to do is I have to uh, show you as a blank screen. That means the screen the software itself show you as a blank screen so don't mind on that part let's see this is a blank because I'm entering the password here and once I enter the password it's gonna show you know the star stars and the click next um, it might come any point of time uh, because I'm just entering yes it's game so um, definitely I want you know stay in this device uh, or it's up to you whether you want to save or not it's a general options so it's logged into the office task now I can go back to the uh, different applications are available now I can go for the outlook it says that hey it cannot find any kind of you know certificate so you must have to enroll this specific device that's what it means um, so uh, you can you know uh, click on um, install certificate definitely there will not be any certificate but you can cancel this point of time and go back to the uh, if you if you just read this you know very clearly use your sign in successful but your admin requires your device to be managed by that is the title which we given for our uh, tenant name as EMS course trial uh, to access this resource uh, this is that uh, in the next sentence if you go to other apps or sites uh, they may recognize that you are uh, signed in you can enroll your device with EMS course trial or sign out that means without uh, without enrolling you can't access this so you have only option as enroll now so if I configure here as the enroll now it's gonna take me to the Play Store and I need to uh, install the Com my company portal app so it might uh, show me sometimes my blank screen sorry for that but I'm just you know um, showing one more time here uh, this is how it is actually showing in the client uh, side this entire note as uh, as the condition you must have to enroll then only you can log into the account so I'm just clicking on enroll now it's gonna take me to the uh, to the portal uh, which is nothing but the uh, a website which tells that hey you have to open the Google Play and install that at top of that um, from the Google Play that specific application which is nothing but a Microsoft engine company portal app uh, because it's free <laughs> so of course it's free but you know if I start uh, enrolling that it's gonna take some time so it's just asking for me to enter some password because of my app uh, applications has a product with some kind of you know password now uh, if I am okay I can start installing this application this is how it's gonna work this is the demo on a complete demo on the Microsoft engine portal let's also talk about uh, some of the pricing uh, specific to the Azure AD 
uh, topics I'm gonna you know show you that if you have just the Microsoft engine license and if you don't have the Azure uh, AD specific license you may have to you know uh, check out this licensing otherwise if you have the EMS license uh, it, it's covered all covered you know uh, otherwise uh, you may have to you know check out the Microsoft Intune licensing with the with the uh, combination of Azure AD. Thank you for watching this.